this week on Funky Missile in the Uptown Scuds. <laughs> Tay Ron incident. At least it's not the Captain Ron incident. That's what we call the time I accidentally watched Captain Ron. <sighs> sure. Who's the black private dick that's a sex machine to all the chicks? Um, that, that missile there? Uh, yeah, I guess so. As a kid, so. John Carradine. Just slap a lab coat on him and sponge away the drool. I'm a Hollywood legend. Sure you are, John. Get the sponge. <laughs> Germany, Italy, and Spain? Hey, they had so much fun the last time they collaborated. (laughs) Okay, you gave it your best shot there, music. Hey, for effort. The Tehran incident takes place in Russia, huh? Yeah, (laughs) it's like the guy from Harlem. Stop! Stop! Ah, I see you are Federal Breast Inspector. Very good, sir. Ah, the famous sand-swept arid deserts of the Caspian Sea. Yeah, d- don't drive closer. We'll come to you. <laughs> Let's try that again. Stoy! 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 He pronounced it differently each time. Stoy! 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 Boris, the toll was just a quarter. I, I panicked. I... Boris is Woody Allen. Okay. <laughs> Okay, everyone pretend you forgot it's the dictator's birthday. Shh. I understand. James Wen has already deemed this the greatest movie of all time. That's for wasting the audience's time with that first pointless driving and parking scene. Oh yeah. The funky eight guys just got murdered theme. Ooh, funky mm. murder! They're either terrorists or they're really determined to win a scavenger hunt. No, no, no. Tie a clove hitch. A clove hitch, Vlad. Have you never stolen a nuclear missile before? Guys, at this point, it may be easier to just enrich the uranium yourself. This is how I got my lawnmower back when my neighbor borrowed it and didn't return it. going to gradually display the credits over the course of the whole movie. <laughs> uh, do we need to secure the giant explosive? Nah, let it swing. Okay. The Enola Gay should have delivered Little Boy like a prize in a claw machine game. <laughs> So where's the credit for the guy who pointed a camera at a helicopter way off in the distance and just left it there? Oh, I hope this is an angry chief about to chew out wild card detective Pete Tehran. Damn it, Tehran! They got my nuts in a vice over this little incident of yours. I'm not picking them up myself, I'll tell you that. Abba Dan was my name on the Benny Anderson fan forum. Why Abba Dan? Because Dancing Queen 69 was taken, all right. What, you couldn't dot the I's with hearts? We celebrate 
Champagne. Oh. Send out a helicopter to steal a bottle. There you go. Champagne. Yeah. Okay. Am I invited to the party? We just received word on negotiations we've been involved in. Obviously, you got your way again. Nah, just fill in my diaper. Obviously. Would you excuse us? We have a few details to discuss. <laughs> After the champagne. Nina. Fine, I need to find my pants anyway. Except for Edward, everything is exactly as you planned. But doesn't it bother you that we caught an American diplomat snooping around the warehouse? He didn't well, even have a Costco card. If you hadn't caught him. Forget Edward. He's just a minor official. Besides, we'll soon know what he was doing here. Do you think you heard about the 50 million at Tehran Bank? Stop speculating about Edward. Next, you'll be making well, plans for Nigel. Because he couldn't find the man's room. Could have been hundreds of reasons, none having to do with us. Happy missile securing to you. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Rigo. Nina, business is over. To one week from today. You're the only guy I know who pre-celebrates Arbor Day, Larry. What happens one week from today? If you knew that, my dear, you would know a bit too much. I like this guy better when he was calling George Bailey a warped, frustrated young man. Hmm, it's like petting an alpaca. Would that tongueless hulk really kill for you? Tongueless hulk? Yeah. I mean, blue <laughs> spanner. <laughs> the thought of a man without a tongue makes me feel uncomfortable. It's nice to know that something can bother you. You never will. You can be sure of that. Enough. Tell the skipper to get on the way. We paid for a three hour tour, and damn it, we're going to get it. He's a big boy now. To me, he's unexpendable. By day or by night? Not by night. Ooh. That's when we're having sex. Gow! <laughs> Not at all. Well, it's been a long day. I think I'm going to take a nap. Coming? Is he coming to the cabin with us? Well, it's comforting to know that his left arm is with me at all times. <laughs> Turns out he's just a head in a leather jacket. <laughs> I hope you never have occasion to find out. That's for taking that guy's left arm. Man, you're too much. If you don't care about your face, I would think about my hand. It's starting to hurt. And I need that hand for greeting in church. No. Talk. Well, there should be no age of consent. Okay, stop talking. Okay. Ooh, boy. I hope this is about to fight music. Crouching accountant, hidden customer service call center manager. Aha! I see you too have studied the ancient art of the groin tear. They fight like the two kids from Star Games are controlling them. Maybe he stays alive. Sorry. When I put on a turtleneck, I just turned into an ass-kicking machine. We'll give you back to you. When in Iran, visit historic downtown Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Unintelligible off-mic muttering drowned out by severely out-of-place funk score? My favorite line in the movie so far. Hey, get that senile coot away from my missile. Oh, sorry, Mr. Carradine. Good evening, Dr. Nikolaev. How soon? The only thing about unpredictables is that they are predictable. Right, Mr. Carradine. Every unpredictable delay has happened. Breakdowns, incompetence in both men and machines. The machines were incompetent. So like a, a microprocessor fell down the stairs carrying a bunch of pies? I'm aware of it. 
Well, this is good. The ability of competence is better. Someday. It will be ready. How soon could you complete your work for the remote control guiding system if you had the prototype? What? Motorbike? For no, I'll hours. stick with That's my well. velocipede. So I can have the assurance that your work can be completed within 48 hours. Not a chance. <laughs> well, the prototype should arrive in less than eight hours. I don't understand. You don't have to. John Carradine's ideal arrangement. <laughs> Ooh, he's reviewing the movie's drabness budget. Did the Baron say anything about me? Arthur, you are paranoid. Every time I see you, the same question. Did the Baron say anything about me? Are you really concerned with what the Baron says about you? I mean, it's not like yeah. he has power or a title. How's that for a nice, simple, direct answer? I was told I would be the oldest and crustiest guy in this movie. Uh, uh, you ah. <laughs> You're doing well. Thank you, Baron. So wait, the casino has a nuclear missile lab? <laughs> yeah, it makes as much sense as a casino having a room where a bunch of weirdos do somersaults to Beatles music. Janitorial! Someone took the craps tables literally again. Well, I think I'll try my luck, Rex. No markers. Use your own money this time. Our dealers are tired of accepting school supplies. Cash only. I would like to talk to Of course, Rex. It might be better if you were not here while I chill with that. I understand. You did? You at the tables again, <laughs> so far I count 18,000. How much? 32. You may leave. Sweet, because the game's about to start and I got 10 G's on the Cleveland Browns. Oh, damn it! I'm starting to worry about him. You don't even concern yourself with one of my worries. Not yours. Iran Today, hosted by Sheikh Lauer and Berka Guthrie. How it go? Perfect. We'll deliver the Russian missile to the Baron in about eight hours. It's a beauty. It'll blow that peace conference on Phoenix to hell and back. Did the 50 million arrive? Yeah, sent the bank in Tehran. A good session, you guys. Want to hit up B-dubs for wings or something? <laughs> they thought the PTA had disbanded. That happened to Katie Ledecky in a race once, and she barely broke the world record. <laughs> did you get anything out of that wood? Also, why did you no, vault that rail instead of taking two steps around it? <laughs> to, uh, kill him. Kill him. You stupid moron! I hate it when morons are stupid instead no of intelligent. Understand? Pet peeve. All right, good. That's settled. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I had to kill him. What else could I do? He was getting away. He was going to rock the Casbah. Listen to me. I had no choice. <clears throat> Staring contest. Don't blink. Ugh. Still got it. Still winning. Dying, but winning. I win. Yeah. We cut from the murdering and espionage to the sport you're not allowed to talk during. Alex! Masters wants to see you. Something just came in. Oh, but I had almost figured out how the scoring system works. <laughs> Hi, Alex. Uh, gotta wait a couple hours. She was about to see a grown man naked. Hello, Alec. Thanks for the workout, Mike. Try to find shorts that don't reveal quite so much sack next time. No question about it, Alec. It was Antwood. His prints checked against those circulated by Interpol a few days ago. 
His pockets were clean, and the Iranian police are satisfied that the motive was robbery. Then they got back to locking up you women who that? show too much ankle. Alec, we've got enough problems at the least. In case you need reminding, any time any one of us clears the continental limits of the United States, our only official capacity is embassy liaison. Is that clear? Also, how do you afford this palace on a government salary? Get from his desk at Tehran to Abaddon. We had to assume it was private business. Nothing else. Understood? Our lawyers asked us to emphasize that this mission is very possible. Then it's settled. You'll be booked on tonight's flight for Tehran. Well, we may rebook you to Missile X, a neutron bomb incident in post. The situation is very delicate. Their heads of state will be meeting for peace talks in the Middle East, and you are to do nothing. Do you understand? You'll still accomplish more than your average Middle East peace talk. Edward's death was not connected, so leave it alone. And check in with the ambassador as soon as you get there. How did Atwood get it? Shot in the back of the head. They found him floating in the gulf. Damn, that's just how my dog went. Doesn't say much, does he? Only when it's important. Like when he's asking for more time to play tennis. You can be sure he'll take an unofficial look. He connected through Abu Dhabi, sat next to a nice cat named Nermal. Sergeant Jackson. We're running a little bit late, sir. You give me your baggage tickets, Corporal, if you take care of your oh, gear. Oh, oh, slow down a minute, sir. Slow down? You just said we're running late. Yeah, how was your flight, sir? Whoa, 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 whoa. Give me time to catch my breath. <laughs> Gotta check out today's Ayatollah and Hobbes strip. Newsstand freeloaders, when will Hollywood cease the hurtful Middle Eastern stereotypes? Neat, they carry the Branson Tri Lakes news here. You accept American money? Of course not. Sure, you do. Keep the change, kid. But. I see. He lost 20,000 more dollars? How do you even bet on purple on roulette wheel? Hi, the movie had gone nearly 20 minutes without a butt, so just thought I'd provide a butt. Baron? Just tapping the Zagroses. A U.S. Air Force lieutenant met someone at the Tehran airport, but he went off alone. Yeah, I didn't oh. get a word of that. Come like a hundred so feet my closer. information seems to be correct, that they were replacing Edward at the embassy. Well, let's be sure he's just that. Have Ringo and George go to the shuttle service airport, just in case. Well, beats being in the studio There's with Yoko. One more flight to Abaddon tonight, nine o'clock. And if he tries to board... Time is too short to take chances. We could enter a 30-man code while he's here, and then we'd have a real Iran-Contra affair. Hello, George. Yes? I know my glasses make me look like a very low-rent pornographer. Yep. I'm not sure a guy slowly exiting a taxi stand warrants this action music here. A guy left the taxi stand, drove his car to Tehran, drove his car through an arch. Peter Graves was there too. Graves looked at crap on the streets of Tehran. Peter Graves pulled up to a curb. Peter Graves, he got out and walked. He walked through a gate. 
and then walk to a building. Peter yeah. Graves, Peter Graves, Peter Graves, <gasps> Peter Graves, 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 why the hell did we just show my whole ride over here? Oh, oh yeah, it's right here in the script. Show whole ride over here. A guy named Al Atwood. <laughs> Peter Gray is in a car. Peter Gray. He is driving again. Stopping at another place. Getting out of the car. And then he's walking yet again. Whoo! Ringing the doorbell. Mm-hmm. Doorbell! Going down some stairs. Ooh. Approaching a TV. Whoo! Opens up a drawer and looks. Opens up another drawer and takes the wallet out, out and, and looks at it. Meets a groovy guy. Oh, yeah. By a fountain. Wait, what's this? Now we're at a mosque with some guy I don't know who he is. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ron Hey, creepy Bluto. Check this out. <laughs> Followers of Ayatollah Khomeini jail and have on prison. His wife's missing her sunglasses. That woman, he. It will be only 1,000 reals for the ride. And I figure for the sightseeing tour, 2,000. The strong smell of body odor? No charge. No mind taking U.S. dollars. No, sir. That'll be $50 American. I've been here before. Nearly got myself argoed. <laughs> Would you believe 20? Hey, Waldo, I found you. So, his mom lost him, but she's already moved on with her life. <laughs> I'll miss him, but it'll be fine. Hey, mister, wait a minute. Carry your bags. What, you think you're big enough? Ah, uh, you little puss. Let's see you carry him, pussy. Come on, pussy boy. Uh-huh. Their plan worked perfectly, I, I, I guess. Well, yeah. Turn around. Now, left foot in, then out, and shake it all about. Shake it all about. Giant cheese balls will be the Islamic world's favorite snack someday, I'm sure of it. <laughs> what would the Chamber of Commerce say if they uh, knew how you greeted the tourists? Shut up. Hold it. <laughs> okay, which is the higher priority? Shutting up or holding it? Oof. Okay, so I'm still holding it or not? No funny stuff. Oh, look, I'm still working on the shutting up part. Keep moving. I'm trying. You know, you give very confusing bad guy commands. I'm Peter Gray. Aha! Action, old guy! Oh, ow, my sciatica! Got my large prostate! (laughs) (laughs) The CIA taught him how to wield a half dozen pomegranates as a deadly weapon. Please, no, I don't want to be coleslaw! Aren't you going to admit that I beat you? Oh. <laughs> A Dave and Buster's token. These guys like to party. Thanks, the Baron? Is he like Shakes the Clown? <laughs> Still there. There you are. Hey, you know like those friends who pay me to carry bags? Ha, <laughs> child with the voice of a 35-year-old woman. What will they think of next? It's all right, son. Thanks. 
Welcome to Abaddon. Thank you. Like a room, please. A billiard room. Uh, me and Colonel Mustard are going to kill a guy with a lead pipe. <laughs> if they have an early bird special, I'm going to eat the hell out of it and be in bed by 6 p.m. Oh, yeah. Diplomatic passport. Legal attaché in Tehran. Mm -hmm. Do you have a reservation, Mr. Franklin? Please, call me Sorry, Peter Graves. Okay. Give me five or ten minutes. I'm sure I will find something nice at diplomatic rates. Might even pay to get transferred. <laughs> Nice pity laugh, lady. Totally bar. appropriate response. I have you called, okay? Thanks. Uh, uh huh. Sure. Uh, Barnaby Jones there's gonna get all handsy with me. I just know it. Waiter. A round of insurer for the house. <laughs> Oh, God, the sound was so bad I didn't hear what he ordered. I'll just give him a bowl of soup and hope for the best. Yes, you have a bottle of Nuit Saint George. Where'd that come from? Um, Burgundy, sir. Oh, you son of a. Alex. <laughs> Constantine Burgundy. Good to see you, you two. Four or two of those. Louis Saint George, you got a good memory. Yeah, a How terrifying about, uh, 70s face, but a good Gladys. memory. <laughs> Patricia and Gladys. Oh, yeah, I wonder whatever became of those two. Oh, I don't know, but if they're married <sighs> now, it's a great loss to the single man. <laughs> Here's to them. I'll drink to that. <laughs> they were labeled whores and stoned to death by the Ayatollah's death squads. Naturally. Uh, yep. We're in Red Square. Strictly for travel. <laughs> Say, aren't you uh, a little off base, Alec? Shouldn't you either be in Tehran or on your way to the conference? Eh, a little playtime before the summit. Your suite is ready, Mr. Franklin. But thank you, dub voice. It obviously did that kid, too. <laughs> I have a feeling we got things to talk about. I'll meet you in an hour. Yeah. Ah, uh, that'll be 400,000 taman for the wine you didn't drink, sir? Sir! Hmm, probably not edible. But it looks so good. Ah, he's got to go host Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Ah, and the music lets us know the terrific Peter Graves picks up a red thing, smokes, and puts on his jacket scene comes to a close. Come on, door handle, take a hit. Unless you don't want to be cool. Now he's going to go to Aaron Andrews' room and do something with her keyhole. A senior citizen from Minnesota? Yes, please. A little bit ago, you said devastating. Now, Constantine... Wouldn't that only mean nuclear? We're not that far from the island of Phoenix. I don't know. Tehran's Atomic pretty far from Phoenix. That conference, the assumption would be that a crazy Russian or a crazy American triggered it. No time for questions, just instant retaliation in both directions. Doesn't make any sense. There'd be no real winner. Not in the aftermath. By the way, my dark suit is really absorbing the 110-degree heat. It's nice. Assume the secret <laughs> bank account and the Baron are one and the same. He picks up a lot of money... And whoever financed this operation moves in and picks up the pieces. I ought to put a cigarette in his doorknob. You like to gamble? We Russians have been gambling ever since Lenin stumbled across Marx. Wait a minute, he's Russian? <laughs> Give us a little Yakov Smirnov accent or something to tip us off next time, could you? The name is Bond. Joey Bond. Got a tire retread operation up in Brownsville. Real good prices. Promise you won't buy tires till you talk to me. Who are you again? Joey Bond. Okay. <laughs> so yes, as I was saying, I'm obviously Russian. <laughs> the American. He's here. Where's the other one? 
Oh, I never saw him before. Thank you, John. Sure seems Russian, though. He does not seem remotely Russian. <laughs> I wonder what he's after. We'll soon find out. I got a straight answer. As straight as I can. You know us Russians. Would you? The name come up in your Russian. investigation at all. Whatever the hell it is you're working on. A straight answer? No. His death was just a notation. A report that came across my desk. Speaking of came across my desk. Gentlemen, care for some company? Uh, perhaps later. We'll look forward to it. Now to return my clothes to my grandma's Davenport. Welcome to the club. The name's Marchand. Baron de Marchand. I'm the owner of the club. I secure it to my steering wheel so they can't steal my car. Not that club. We believe in taking good care of our guests. All of your guests? A special Free soda pop at the end of the tour. You might have an opinion on something my friend and I have been discussing. Try, Mr. Franklin, Alec Franklin, this is Mr. Semyonov, Russian embassy. He's obviously not Russian, but just play along. Flushing game into the open, especially when the season's running short. Would you say it's best to go charging in after it? Or to use some bait to worry it and bring it into the open? Sure, it's a common question you ask a stranger all the time. And how well it's equipped to the... Well, Russians, you know. Yeah. Perhaps, perhaps. Of course, they do say that a mouse can panic an elephant. Probably, Mr. Franklin. But I think you missed the real point first. The mouse has to find the elephant, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We're all wasted. <laughs> Talking about games. There should be one out there to interest you and your friend. It's called Donkey Kong. I think you'll find it intriguing. Yes, I won this the hard way. Not at the roulette table. But in the fruit market in Tehran. It's the worst, tiniest, flattest watermelon I ever bought. I find it hard to believe that an American diplomat and a Russian agent are working together. I also believe find it unbelievably erotic. What we are up against, maybe. Ah, craps. The game of gentlemen. Double down on the big blind for me. You have no idea how craps is played, do you? No whammies! Luck be your lady tonight! Oh, God, she crop dusted the whole room! Oh. 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 No. I help you. Oh. Hmm, swallow a few pearls? Oh. Way ahead of you. Thank you so much. No, thank you. It's not every day I get to pick up a beautiful lady's pearls. Just once before, actually, after that time I watched Bruce Wayne's parents die. Now, what do we do with these? Uh-huh. Here we go there. Red. Sir, this is bingo. And a seven. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hello. Later is now. Please sit down. Bear is here. Dry is wet. Join me? Sure, I'll be your good luck, child. Couldn't ask for a better one. How do you like working for the band? Are you worried Snoopy will finally shoot his plane down? Or Actually, I work for Mr. Stetson. Stetson? Yes, yeah, the manager of this casino. Pardon me, I was sent to interrupt this lethally boring conversation. Give me a thousand, will you, Charlie? Don't you hear me? Yes, sir, Mr. Stetson, but... But what? But aren't you worried about the nude child unicycling into your back? <laughs> as long as I'm the manager of this casino, you'll give me the cash I ask for. I'm sorry, Mr. Stetson, but you know we can't disregard an order from the Baron. Even when he calls at midnight for cold lasagna covered in milk, we cannot disregard the order. <sighs> I'm sorry, but you'll have to excuse me. Wait, my car. In case you catch a simulator. In case you Sometimes. catch a simulator? That sounds right to me. Mm-hmm. Stetson, perhaps you'll permit me to buy you a drink. Talk over your financial situation. <laughs> no good date starts that way. Roulette, the checkers of gambling. Oh, what? Empire Oh, I've never been so lucky. Six dollars? I mean, wow. Alec, why don't we leave? We can't go home on a lady's money. First time I've ever been turned down. 
when I asked a man to leave with me. I didn't say I wouldn't leave with you. I just said not on your money. I mean, your money doesn't even have wheels or <laughs> seats. The whole I idea of leaving on it is preposterous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there. I want to read the numbers, but it spins too fast. <laughs> we lose. We lose. <laughs> I think I may know the man you're looking for. Goes by McDonald's, smells like french deal. fries. We can deal. Nikolai. We deal. You're wanted in the office, Mr. Stetson. We were lurking here just long enough for you to give away the information without stopping you from giving away the information. The wrong stuff. Ready? Sorry, Nina. Tell the Baron it could have been fun. You're lost, pal. The Baron is an amazing cuddler. Keep moving. You take the right, I got the left. Ooh, nobody placed a bet on table gets broken. I'm afraid everyone's a loser this round. Why is he doing reaction faces like the partner from Samurai Cop? <laughs> Want to help out at all, Peter? I mean, I mean, I think you might be the nominal star of the movie. Uh, I honestly have no idea who's fighting or why. And neither do they. Oh. Hit him with a pomegranate. <laughs> Going on. The Elite spy away. or board vice principal? I don't see it. Hey, now imagine a fun on screen duo doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Light cannibalism is so charming. Young Donald Trump, you scamp. Old and violent, every girl's dream. Alec, get down! Thank you. Thank a woman and immediately get clobbered. It's like I always say, guys, never thank women. Is there punching in here? Yes, it seems there is. <laughs> Well, thankfully, nobody in this casino full of spies and career criminals has a gun. Everyone in this room has been punched in the face at least a dozen times at this point. How's anyone still standing? <laughs> <laughs> Try to fight! Ah, casino security, right on time. <laughs> God, I'm tired. Seemed like a normal place to sit. <laughs> Biography. <laughs> well, if you like aging action stars sitting on broken furniture, folks, your ship has come in. Mm -hmm. Morning. Oh, Mr. Franklin, you've run into some excitement, I see. What hmm? tipped you oh. off, his wrinkled <laughs> shirt or the massive uh, rumble that just wrecked in. the whole place? Oh, no, his key is still there. Hmm. Well, ask him to call me as soon as he does, will you? Of course. Right, thanks. Now I'm going to fist fight my way up to my room. <laughs> Punch the vending machine for five minutes, but still no handicap hot fries. The place does look swanky, like administrative office of a storage unit facility swanky. He's here to assassinate the AM Gold. I prefer white wine. Bang, 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 hey, bang. Close it. It's <laughs> 
drafting. <laughs> Man, I wish I was still sitting on that roulette table. <laughs> I wonder why they bother with locks in this hotel. <laughs> it only took a hairpin. Thought I'd give you a chance to thank me. That's what Bono says every time he takes the stage. Nina, it's 3 a.m. It's been a tough day, and it's going to be a tough day tomorrow. Life is an endless hell slog, Nina. Nina. An answer to the Baron make you an offer I can't match. I came here on my own. It's strictly between the sexes. You and me. Me and you. You know, the sexes. I may not be an angel, but I'm not alone. Now for the latest news. Hang on there. The plate in my head's picking up radio signals again. The Middle Peace Conference starts tomorrow on Quiche Island as planned. Over 600 delegates representing 46 countries will participate. The first dignitaries from Bahrain, Qatar, Sudan, and Kuwait... We now interrupt your sexy moment with silently listening to some news. Large-scale security measures are in effect on the island and in Tehran. Ayatollah Khomeini in Paris is threatening to disrupt at all costs the conference on Quiche Island. The Ayatollah hates savory breakfast dishes. <laughs> it's no time for news now. CNN's new slogan... <laughs> Biography. Whose side are you on? My own. Longest Cialis ad I've ever seen. Oh, I sit here in the end. Oh, I'm in bed with someone. She's probably age appropriate. Well, hello. But I know that love. You can just imagine, the dialogue here was so bad they decided this song was an improvement. Life never even gave us a sign. My own robot, <laughs> my own, my lady. <laughs> deep cut. Wow. My favorite song ever, but deep cut. Such <laughs> is the of love. There's a woman in my room. I need you to get her out and hose the whole place down. Coming. Best Western decorations were a lot different then. Where is Constantine? Please, don't mar his beautiful body. But feel free to shoot off one or two skin tags. <laughs> You're welcome, darling. Off to change into her mid-morning lingerie. <laughs> What have you done with Constantine? What's your connection with Constantine? Who the hell are you? Disgraced Olympic gymnast? Oh, I know you're the electronics expert he brought with him. Uh-huh. Did he tell you that? No, they cabled me from Moscow. Now listen, I've been trying to find Constantine since I got in last night. He's missing, isn't he? Yes, and he's still upset Keanu Reeves played him in the movie. Yes. His bed wasn't slept in. In the last conversation we had, he said he would keep an eye on you. I haven't seen him since he left the casino last night. Someone we both wanted to talk to. Wayne Newton? Both wanted to talk to. That's right, that missing missile of yours affects both our national securities. We decided to pool our efforts. But you are an American. Terrific. That's how I respond whenever someone now, says, I'm, I'm an American. Terrific. <laughs> And she is now irresistibly attracted to him. That's just how it works in Gravesland, baby. <laughs> I'm Galina Fedorovna. Death to America. Nice to meet you. Galina, Konstantin and I have different flags, but our schools are the same. Middle Tennessee State University, all the way. Would you go to your room and wait for me? I think I know where we can find Constantine. Put the gun away. Stick to electronics, will you? wonder how many Radio Shack managers had to say those exact words. Ran out of song. Gotta go. Does my cane smell like baklava to you? Do you know what happens when you forget to water the tulips? This! This is what happens when you forget to water the tulips!
Looks like me on school picture day. <laughs> it's a rough night. Why make it rough on yourself, Semyonov? Nikolaev recognized you. That defecting traitor. That darn cat. Look at the man this way. A brilliant scientist who also happens to like money. Is that your excuse for living? Money? No, you idiot. I live for hot red Santa vests. <laughs> what did Stetson tell you? Does Franklin have any other man in town? Or am I really his main squeeze? You're a fool. A Russian agent and yet willing to let an American agent steal your missile. You will talk. You may as well kill me now. Dying isn't going to be that easy. Have you considered affordable life insurance from Colonial Penn? Look. He lost three fingers and half a palm in the fight. Yeah, Mario Kart gets heated sometimes. I improved on nature. Behind this grubber glove, there's Swedish steel, where there used to be human tissue. And Swedish fish, where oh, there no, used to be no you. fish. That would be the easy way. We try the hard way. Oh, supposed to be a rabbit. Let me try that again. Interesting, isn't it? Tough enough to penetrate metal. Or play with flesh or bones. He's like a poorly endowed Wolverine. How he feels or what I order him to do. Think about it. You have 20 minutes. Because I need to catch up on my friend's web series first. It's about dating in L.A. Very fresh. Well, Nina. What the? Damn it, Nina! I told you to schedule my surprise attack for 3.30, not now! Call him off! This fat wolfman vibe is creeping me out. Stop. Against the wall. Also, what's going on top of his head there? Hair plugs? Chia sprouts? What? Even it out! casino. Clowner! Take our photo. Just take it out of there, put it on the floor, and kick it over here nice and easy. There are times to be a hero. This is not the one. That time ended when you were overpowered by a sexually spent Peter Graves. <laughs> I want Constantine here now. Get him. But take a pinky for the road. Nothing funnier, he dies laughing. Hey, that's the official oath of Patch Adams. I guess you're the altruistic type that can't be bought. You talk too much. Galena? Alec? In here. And stick a sugar packet under table seven. I noticed it wobbling earlier. A gun. All right, Stanford prison experiment time. Let's get some data. Took you so long. I finally had sex. I mean, uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Right, let's get out of here. Move him away from that door. Over this way. And four hips instantly shatter. Ow, ow, ow. ow. Behind you. Casino's got more than two employees. Alec! Tactical precision rarely seen outside a pool party super soaker battle. Uh, shouldn't we wait until seatbelts are made mandatory? There's no time! Oh. I've been spelling Kata wrong this whole time. Oh, you're back. I've been crouching like this for an hour. Problems? Not a one. You've done well, Dr. Nikolaev. You've lived up to your reputation. Thank you, Baron. Eight hours? I need more time than that for my BM. It should be a few minutes less. I would like to stop now. 
With a missile on deck in broad daylight? <laughs> of course not. I was thinking it out. But hypothetically, would a blonde wig be enough to disguise the rocket? Hypothetically. He's a scientist. All the newly designed equipment is destroyed when the boat disintegrates. Perhaps you would rather be on it, operating it manually. I also was thinking aloud. When did Carradine go double platinum? I must commend you, Baron. The kids love him. The plan is brilliant. The missile hits. We stole the boat. No evidence. Nothing but retaliation on both sides. Truly brilliant. So the guy caught strange love on cable. We Big deal. a few minutes before dark. That puts the impact schedule back from 7 to 4 in the morning. The three hours do not matter. Ah, he's never been to a Catholic wedding. Man, does it matter. I have to move it up. Things are getting close. Expecting trouble, Baron? Perhaps from your razor-sharp lampshades at eye level? (laughs) Nothing can stop us. Ah! We can't lose. Think of it, Doctor. A curves gym on every corner. Mm. I understand Mr. Stetson has uh, disappeared. For long. Unless he stopped breathing. What the f*** did you just say? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, This is where Aladdin's crashing while he sorts out some stuff with Jasmine. It's really bummed. Hope they work it out. Oh, that's great. So much for being the first ones at this tag sale. Got to grab the key from the realtor. He uh, thinks this property will really take off in the 80s. Jeez, you engineer one coup against a democratically elected government, and they never let you live it down. This is what Westworld was like in beta. Tony, Regal, get in the car, I'll cover you. You mean flee in urine-soaked terror, right? On it! Depressing to think all this led to the rise of Wolf Blitzer. What's one more international incident between tenuous allies? <laughs> we have fun. <sighs> Not to worry, I hear Iranian cops are total softies. Teddy bears. Officers, please, if you let me explain, I'm sure I could stabilize the region in five to ten minutes. I'm Peter Graves. For biography. Sorry. I'll never believe this. Alec Franklin in an Iranian jail with two Russian agents on a felony charge. They all walk into a bar. In the Russian embassy and the American embassy, we should be out of here by now. I don't think my home office is going to be very happy with me. I didn't even check in with my ambassador. And if we're not out of here soon, Alec, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. Anyway, think our toilet wine is ready to drink yet? Anyone need to cross the street? Captain, I like your rooms at the hotel better. The rates here are far less. (laughs) I was forced to dig my own grave today. Would you believe this? Did it ever occur to either of you to come to us for help? Help? Is that like sex? You are registered at your embassies with our government. There are certain matters I cannot You are looking for Stetson. And you. Look at the decades of chaos you caused. Why didn't you come to us? Because they told me you said he died in a robbery. Do you have information contrary to that? I'm certain that the Baron... truly Robocop. The Baron? Yes. 
Can you prove it? No. We think we can. <laughs> the budget couldn't cover the record scratch. My cousin Marvin Fateh Ali Khan said this was the new sound I was looking for. <laughs> Sorry, baby. I just wish there were more rugs on the walls is all. What's the matter? You don't want to make love? I got big trouble, baby. By now, everybody's looking for me. The police, the baron, the CIA, even Russian intelligence. Well, they won't look for you here. No, I don't count on that. As soon as it gets dark, I gotta clear out. I'm like a reverse cockroach. That means goodbye, baby. In my country, there is a custom. If a man must go away, his woman dances for him. And then they make much love. It's a nice custom. That's no pineapple as a housewarming gift. <laughs> It was a nice custom. <sighs> so I uh, take it your culture hasn't invented poles yet? <laughs> yep. Apparently the adult learning annex at the mall had a group on. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Pleasant. She's got the seductive moves of your friend's single aunt during the third to last song at a wedding. Oh, sweet, merciful COPD, take me now. Just like McHale's Navy. <laughs> Imagine if we were watching McHale's Navy right now. had thought about it, you'd realize that we Iranians are just as interested in what's going on as you are. Our country is in the middle of the Mideast power kick. Unfortunately, up till now, we didn't know what was going on. We're that stupid! The Ayatollah is about to light the fuse any minute if we don't stop Stetson and the Baron. Would you mind telling us where we're going? Lately, Stetson has been seeing a lot of a local village girl. For somebody on the run, her house is a perfect place to hide. Her voice is dubbed by adult Sally Brown. <laughs> All I want is my fair share. Yeah, right. Here we go. Back to the music. <laughs> You're burning me with your palm all cow. <laughs> Uh, all right, steady man, let's get this over with. <laughs> yeah, that's the house he was just in. how I react whenever anyone wants me to watch a movie based on a DC comic. Need to see some more erotic dancing like Carlton Banks or Dieter from Sprockets. Give me your hand. Hey, we're somewhere too. really went out of their way to showcase the beauty of Iran, didn't they? <laughs> Let's spread out. I don't care about the others. We've got to get steps before they do and shut his mouth for good. A peanut butter banana sandwich ought to do the trick. Very effective. Yes. I'll take my men and head that way and try to get behind them. Remember, Stetson is no good to us dead. Oh, I understand. Bacha, Azinva. All right, we better split up too. Rosetti can't cover us all. Galena. Follow us. We're going to need someone to patronize. You know, sometimes saving the world means casually jogging in a suit. I'll go on this way. You try over there. Check the brown thing that looks like all the other brown things. I don't know. Ah, crazy lady, run! 
<laughs> Poor kid. Yeah. Tonight on Stuart Margolin, P.I. <laughs> Feels like even Dalton era Bond would have wrapped this up by now. Yep. <laughs> he did his own stunts, you know. Wow. Yeah. Like, even George Lazenby would be into his third martini at this point. Thanks, I, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Come on. The new fad, middle-aged hide-and-seek. With Peter Graves. <laughs> Oh, God, I hope you're one of the barons, man. I am. What a relief. Thank you. No problemo. Chasing a degenerate gambler through an Iranian yak farm. Action. It's the guy playing the organ solo. Die! <laughs> Gunfight at the old guy's corral. Wait here. I'll try another one of our culture's seductive dances to lure him back. Let's find you an undershirt, for God's sake. Come on, move. What? Oh, we brought all these really nice guns and we're going to let a small knife decide this? Man. This way. Wow, what a huge pile of uh, I think that's just dirt. Oh, I'm not talking about the dirt. I'm not- <laughs> Die, Stetson! I'm not Stetson! Oh, sorry! It's okay, that's why pencils have erasers! <sighs> Here. No woman's going to keep me from getting shot in the back. Uh, uh, the movie sound effects mirror what the audience is feeling right now. Uh, 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 uh. This cow is in pain. Oh. <laughs> Stetson. Yeah, the American. How is that unclear? I may as well be wearing a big dog's tank top. Rico always was. Posh ordered that pig sticker, I guess. What? We'll get you to a doctor. You're going to be all right. Yeah, for a funeral. Burn. I need your help. <laughs> we have to find the Goliath and the missile. All right, Stetson, you're dying and you know it. Now, you don't owe the Baron anything. His nipple's like a little pink Atlantis sinking in an ocean of fur. <laughs> and there isn't any time for questions. Okay. How the boat and the missile go on a heartwarming Milo and Otis-style journey. Uh. 
Visit Tehran. Some of our hotels are not secret terrorist hideouts. An alien vessel has entered the launch area, Professor. That ship's within 40 miles. And my homemade light bright looks amazing. Turn right. Turning right. Activate the firing antenna. Or firing, sir? No, that's just what they'll expect. Huh? Antenna operating. Excellent. Tides holding. Nitro pills kicking in. Mission on schedule. Target pickup. Then the final countdown. Everything is on schedule. We'll have accomplished whatever the hell our goal is before you know it. Trouble? I didn't know what you were into. I mean, aside from all the foot stuff. Rex, <laughs> when the retaliation starts, what about all those people? The United World never changes. The strong survive and the weak. Does anyone really care? I knew he was evil, but not libertarian. I'm pretending I'm whack-a-mole. <laughs> hey, free copier. <laughs> Wait, jeez. Wait here. I think I see a quarter on the ground over there. I'm gonna check it out. Nosferatu got him. <laughs> oh, there's so much fun junk to hide behind, I can't choose. <laughs> Glad I could help. How come I have to wear a lab coat and Barb doesn't? <laughs> Sounds like someone's having a laser gunfight near this regular gunfight. <laughs> After all, what is life but a grim, joyless march to the grave? Sometimes, guys, sometimes a film location is almost too glamorous, you know? <laughs> wow. <laughs> of course, my nose starts itching soon as my hands are full of guns. And also, we. <laughs> Tommy Bahama shirts aren't bulletproof, it turns out. Yeah. God, he landed in Quiche. Oh, quiche! Start final check. Would someone please shoot the jazzy keyboardist? Thank you. Noodling and noodling. Missile on target. Ready to fire. Not without me. Missile, honey, I'm coming with you. Tony, get her. Alec? Thanks, bro. She seemed wicked clingy. <laughs> Hold it. 
Get away from there. Fire! Everyone's really earning their number one grandpa mugs today. <laughs> Come here. Take care. And stop being the only woman in the movie who doesn't want to sleep with me. Anyone need a can opened? Meanwhile, at the United Nation, we're back. <laughs> I wouldn't. You're bluffing. Try me. Did I refill the Brita? No, damn it, this is not the time. What was I doing again? <laughs> I'm shocked, shocked to find that Peter Graves is going on in here. <laughs> Galena, now move away from there. Aren't you going to pat down the Baron for balled up Kleenexes and Werther's Originals? He's, he's kind of old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just out of toner. Alec, it's an automatic. All I can do is explode it. How much time? <sighs> Ten seconds. Cool. And could we get a little more volume on that alarm, please? <laughs> <laughs> And they all get arrested because there was a family of endangered cormorants nesting in the bow. Those last few Yikes. minutes. Yikes! Would you have shot the Baron? Galena, now that you're one of us, I've got to tell you. Shut your pretty, the pretty girl mouth. A question like that. You know something puzzling me, Galena? How certain were you you were pushing the right button? Mr. Franklin. Question my expertise oh, again, and I will end you. Like that. <laughs> Where to now, Alex? Ah, recall to Washington. I'm queen of the Seems Cherry Blossom Festival. Tehran doesn't like his legal attaché <laughs> taking delays en route. But you know what? I'm going to take one anyway. I'll see. Missile Alex, the neutron bomb incident. Also known as the Tehran Incident. <laughs> ah, we leave you now with the coffee date and the mental image of Peter Graves' geriatric thrusting later in the evening. Oh, geriatric thrusting. Ha ha! Oh, thanks for providing backup on this deadly mission to Persia, everyone. Geriatric thrusting! <laughs> no, stop. And uh, hey, if you got this riff anywhere other than our site, we'd ask that you please head on over to rifttracks.com slash donate and make it right. You never know when a Ruski missile might take out the whole system. It'll be too late. Geriatric thrusting my Oh my God. We have, no, we don't. Have so long. Love, let us drink of life's finest wine, life. It's time for Riff Tracks. Copyright by Riff Tracks. All rights reserved.